49 years ago. I was in Reno when I started. I started at a little mall called the Reno Town Mall. I was the first radio station in America to actually go into a mall in front of a live audience. Uh, over the years, this all started with a show called Nevada Matters, which was then Secretary of State Dean Eller, who went on to become a senator and went on to be a congressman here in the state of Nevada. I think the most memorable interview that I've ever done was with a singer named Lou Rawls, who's no longer with us. He had several wonderful hits, and I, I had a, just a wonderful interview with him. He used to leave the Nugget and actually come out to the ranch and sit on the porch with Wayne Dyer and Deepak Chopra. Every Pepper casino, right. Pepper Mill, Atlantis, and John Esquaga's Nugget. Through my career, Bill, I have truly met just about everyone in Nevada, in and out of office, in and out of business, you name it, I've met them, I've interviewed them. Well, one of my best friends we just recently lost, that's Tommy Dolan, Dolan Automotive. Uh, just a couple of days ago, we lost Tommy, and uh, he was one of my favorite interviews and one of my favorite friends. You can't name anybody that I can. I've had good and bad interviews with just about everyone. When people ask me, okay, of all the interviews you've ever had, who was your best and who was your worst? And I've always said the same thing. Believe it or not, my very best interview was with James Brown, and my very worst interview was with James Brown. Okay? So that's how long I've been doing this. None. No podcast at all. We were all radio in front of a live audience, and I did weekly shows with everyone from the Attorney General, the Governor, the Secretary of State, the District Attorney, and also the Sheriff. Let, let me share with you. I can't believe all the changes that have taken place in my lifetime when it comes to technology and the advances that have taken place. You know, when we first started, we were just on a little radio AM station, and now we're on several radio stations and three television stations all at the same time every day, Monday through Friday. In my opinion, the future when it comes to technology and what I do for a living, I think the future is in podcasting, and I think you're right on the cusp of the future when it comes to podcasting with your organization. I want to do it. I want to make it happen with every one of my shows. We've got some excellent shows. Shanimal and Brian have uh, two great shows every week. And I also have everything from doctors to dentists to you name it. They come in and they do a different show each and every week. Yeah, I want it to be lasting. You know, you, you do a radio show, you do a TV show, and most people watch it. Some people even watch it two, three times a week, then it goes away. Whereas if a podcast is up, it'll be up forever. How stupid they are. Some of my old-time uh, radio talk show hosts and television talk show hosts, they're not too crazy about podcasts. I'm telling you, if they don't get involved, the podcasting world is going to leave them in the wake. A lot of people have no clue, Bill, thanks for the question. A lot of people have no clue how much it actually costs you, but uh, I'd say that every show costs us between $800 and $1,000 every week for every one hour that we do live broadcasting. You know, I, I'm hoping that it's going to be probably somewhere in the neighborhood of at least around half or a little more than half of that. Uh, the repurposing of broadcasting with podcasts could be as little as 20 to $30 per show. We are committed right now 
to the future of not only podcasting, but I'm also intrigued with AI and the job they're doing and improving on a daily basis. Mostly, Bill, I think for that additional 20 to $30 to turn all of our shows into a podcast is only going to run us between 20 to $30. And I think anybody would be crazy not to have their show also get involved with podcasting. I actually not only come to the studio every day, but my wife and I live on a wild horse sanctuary called the Wynema Ranch Wild Horse Sanctuary, where my wife has taken care of as many as 130 wild horses from California to Nevada. And uh, I don't know how she does it, but she does it on a daily basis. Yeah, there is, okay? If anybody's interested, they need to get a hold of America Matters Media. Get a hold of anybody at America Matters Media and tell them you're interested in having your very own show, television, radio, or podcast. Yeah, AmericaMatters.us is our website. If they're interested, what they should do is call area code 775-827-8900. Extension 2. Oh, yeah. We do ads. We do promotions. We do live events. We do any and everything. You notice today the owner of the mall was in here. We're planning for the next three months leading up to the holiday season of working together to promote the Reno Town Mall. We're located right now, if you want to get a hold of uh, America Matters Media, we're at 4001 South Virginia, number 7, right through the main gate. You come in, you look to the left, and you'll see the studio room and the audience room. Located in the Reno Town Mall. You can't miss us, just walk through the main door. I want to thank every one of our radio and television talk show hosts for the wonderful job they do. And I also want to thank you, Bill, for bringing podcasting here to the Reno Town Mall with your national association. Anyone who doesn't get involved in podcasting, they're going to be left in the wake. I'm truly looking forward to emceeing the events over at the Atlantis Hotel Casino for the National Association of Podcasters, and I look forward to meeting every one of them as they come through the doors here at the Reno Town Mall. I'm looking forward to the Freedom of Speech conference that they're going to be holding May 14th through the 16th. When they do come in and learn from you about podcasting, they also will learn from myself and other people who've been with me for some 20 plus years when it comes to radio and television. We want to make sure they're covered in every form of media that they want to get involved in.